Covering local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. We are just a few hours away from President Biden's visit to Raleigh. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young, Air Force One, going to land at RDU this afternoon. The president will then go to the Green Road Community Center in Raleigh as part of his tour to encourage people to get the COVID vaccine. We begin right now with CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live at the Community Center where setup is underway. Yeah, guys, and you can see part of the community center right here behind me. Unfortunately, we're not able to show you too much right now because of security reasons, but just know that the energy is really building right now as we get even closer to the president's arrival. And when he gets here later on this afternoon, President Biden is going to tour a mobile vaccination unit that's in the community center's parking lot. The White House, sa White House says that he's then going to give a speech about the importance of getting the vaccine vaccine and how simple it is to do so. Biden will also meet with frontline workers and volunteers who are helping get the vaccine out to their communities. Raleigh Apex NAACP President Gerald Givens Jr. is one of those people. He's going to be here when the president arrives. And he told me about the vaccine clinics and the community forums that they've held to promote the vaccine. So I asked him what kind of message he wants to hear from the president when he gets here this afternoon. Let's get out here so we can get our kids back into school. Let's get out here so we can continue to enjoy that great quality of American life that we're all so used to and cherishing. That's what I want to hear the president say today. Now, it's important to note the president is not going to stay here very long as he's going to head back to Washington, D.C. this evening. But also, he's not the only one who is on the road for this same cause. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, along with Dr. Fauci, they are making, uh, making several stops in Florida today to also promote the vaccine. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News. Joseph, thanks. And we want to give you a look at the president's schedule because he is set to touch down at RDU at 3.30. And then at 4.50, he'll visit a mobile vaccination unit, meet with those frontline workers and volunteers. At 5.15, he'll deliver remarks from the Green Road Community Center where Joseph is standing. And CBS 17 will have complete coverage of the president's visit to Raleigh, starting with the landing of Air Force One around 3.30 and the president's comments around 5.15. You can find all of our live coverage right here on CBS 17 and on the CBS 17 News app.